And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Oakland Athletics. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill Bryce Elder and for some reason he's not quite as effective here in front of his home crowd Chris. Yeah Boog and the fans are well aware of that for him he's got to just not press and go out there and say hey I'm just treating this like any start home on the road it doesn't matter my job is to focus on that catcher's mitt attack hitters and just try to move through a ball game so if he can find that kind of focus doesn't matter where he's pitching because he has good enough stuff to go out there and win a ball game. One down, base is empty. There's a swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Fires to first. They get the out on Soto. Here's Manny Machado, one of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. And Manny gets a piece. Manny Machado, his brother-in-law, is former major leaguer Yonder Alonso. Both those kids grew up in Miami. And, of course, Alonso, a guy who ended up having a nice major league career. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here in the East Bay, and today's starter, Seth Lugo. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible nope. mountain oh, presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Got him. One away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Short hop liner handled it short. Throw to first in there safely. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to the plate lately. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss. Two out. So here's Brown at the plate. Ball one, no strikes. That nope. one missed. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy no guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Has some trouble with it. So two down. Next up for the A's, Shea Langoliers. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. One one. They say it went. And down on strikes he goes. And the inning is. Top of the second. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Strike oh, yeah. one. Chris, let's not forget that Tatis was the cover guy. MLB to show 2021. Everybody remembers that. Yes, they do. Sends it across oh. to first. And quickly one away in the second. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Hoping to lock up a home run title down the stretch. He leads the league right now. And takes low for ball one. And another ball. 
Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, had home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. No score here in the second. There's the strike, three and one. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. Line drive, caught! Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Jake Cronenworth stands in here, takes ball one low. Two outs. Left field. That takes care of Cronenworth. And that is the back in Oakland. Oledmis Diaz now. The wide to kick the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Grisham makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Connor Capel up next for the A's. Off the ball plate, ball one. In there at the knees. Rocketed out towards right center. Tatis puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Trent Grisham. And the oh, first pitch out. misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. And a count one and two. Righty to the plate. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Oh, that got away yeah, from him. him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf tournament this offseason. Runner, runner. runner on the goal. Swing and a foul straight back. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on? Runner goes again. Gets a piece. And it stays 0-2. And he deals. Runner on the move again. Bounced up the middle. Throw on to Brown. And one away in the top of the third. And now it's Austin Nola. Of course, little bro Aaron, one of the top starters in baseball. And that's in there at the knees. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. Next offering way off the plate. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. 
And now it's filled up. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. It's Xander Bogarts now. Grounded out his first time up. Ball one low. Even though Bogarts, at the beginning of his career, signed with and then played for the Boston Red Sox, his favorite player growing up was Derek Jeter, and that's why he wore number two. Two down, nobody on. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's Chase Peterson. And there's the strike. That one is absolutely belted. Grisham going back. Back some more, back some more, and it's off the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Everything came together for him. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. In the air right field, takes a tumble, and he hangs on. Runner tags, and will move up to third. Now batting Tyler Wade. Reached on an infield single his first time. That's in there. Going away. Peterson stands at third with one gone in the inning. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right-hander kicks deals. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Popped up left side. Bogarts snags it on the run. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Rooker swings through it for strike one. Two outs with a runner at third. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Got him! Huge strike out there. As we go to the top of the fourth. So digging in now for San Diego, Juan Soto. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Waste no time there. Really turned on that one down the line, and that's a spot where there's pretty much never going to be a defender, even with the shift on. And fouled off. Hey, Boog, did you know Manny Machado is the youngest player in history to have a walk-off Grand Slam in both leagues? I did not know that. That one out to right. Machado out of the play. And there's one down. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Tatis, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. On the ground right side, four, six, three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for Back here at the ballpark, bottom four, and here's the first baseman, Seth Brown. That's off the mark, ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Ball to strike. Ground ball right side. Sends it to first. And a quick out number one. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Oh. 
Liner, base hit. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second. He's in there. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Bogarts with the throw to first. Now two away. Foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Runner at second, two down. Fly ball to right. Tatis drifts towards it. And that will end the inning. One left. Back here in the East Bay. And now, Matt Carpenter. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one. one The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Two strikes. And the righty deals. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty delivers. That one misses. Ball two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. That misses, and that's ball three. Got him swinging. And now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. First offering, misses the mark. Jake Cronenworth, the Michigan kid, he played at the University of Michigan. Rays took him in the 15 draft in the seventh round. Grew up playing a, a lot of hockey, eventually made his big league debut with the Padres. Chris, he's been an all-star twice. Right back to him on the mound. He's Throws up. to first, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Line drive, base hit down the line. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Kim swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. He's 0 for 1. Bounce to third throw on to Brown that's out number three Lugo back to work there's a strike there's a strike In the air, out towards right center. Dives, and it gets by. Around second now, going for three. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Really nice job with two strike hitting him at it back. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling. And I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Bounce to the left side. Bogarts handles the chance. Beats the throw and the run scores. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, 
We're starting with this already. So digging in, Este Yuri Ruiz. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Foul ball there. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. No, oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Soto makes the grab, and there's two out. Now the left fielder, Brent Rooker. He was late there, strike one. Peterson, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Just misses with that one. Battling here as he fouls it away. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Sneaks through, base hit. The throw home. And he's in there as a run scores. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Swing and a miss. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Hammer, base hit. Rooker around third. He'll score easily. It's 3-1. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And it's a lead miss Diaz. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Squared it up with the well. time swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Capel stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. That's out to center field. Grisham settles under it. And that is that. So nine batters come to the plate. Four of them score. We're through five. It's the Athletics four and the Padres one. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Stepping in for San Diego, Austin Nola. Nola measures six feet even, 33 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2012. You know, these Padres just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. 0-2 now. Ground ball up the middle. Diaz. In plenty of time to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Bogarts in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Ground ball left side. Throw on to Brown. Bogarts retired. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Soto, the next to hit, takes ball one. Quick. 
That one ripped. And out of here. He'll circle the bases, and they inch closer. It's 4-2. almost robbed the home run right there and I tell you what he'd love another crack at it during batting practice you always like to work on that and so close but that one was just out of his reach the third base is number 13 Manny Machado And the first pitch misses for ball one. Chris, whether it's superstition or things guys do just to get themselves mentally focused, Manny Machado has a routine. He'll write the initials FN in the infield dirt to honor. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. Padres draw closer on the long ball. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the six. Here's Tony Kemp. Your Good pitcher on the here. Pedro now Avila. Now and he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. And strike two. The next offering misses. And the count one and two. Good eye right there. And a ground ball to first. Cronenworth steps on the bag, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Jake Peterson. Digging in for Oakland, Jace Peterson. On the ground to third. Throws across the diamond and a couple of quick outs. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. Fought off foul. You won. And a big swing and a miss. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. In the dirt. Tosses to first. And that is that. Three up. Back in Oakland. New inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Fernando Tatis Jr. There's a strike. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see. And he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Next offering is outside. Swing and a miss. One and two. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Up the middle. Kemp. Jump throw. He oh, is good. safe. Bang, bang at first. Great hustle to beat that one out. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Matt Carpenter, the next up for the Padres. Carpenter, a beast all year long as he leads the league in RBIs here in our final month. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swung on, belted. Ruiz raging back towards the wall. Back some more. On the warning track and hauls it in. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Tatis runs. Pitch misses. Throw safe. 
That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Three oh down. Right through there for a strike. And a foul ball left side. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the three two. If he'll throw a breaking ball three one, he'll do it again three two. Three and two now. Bounce to the right. The flip to the pitcher covering. That takes care of Cronenworth. Well, there's a lot riding on that. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, <laughs> Sam Mole. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Grisham, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Fouled off. He was late. So now one and two. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. And there's a ball. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Tyler Wade, the new pitcher in the game, Nick Martinez. And one thing on him. He's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Deal two. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, that was the cutter down and in right there. And typically, if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. Makes the grab for the second out. Two outs, space is empty. Digging in, Seth Brown. That hey. one's in there, 0 1. 0 1's the count. And hey. that's in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Three. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nothing doing. Ready to begin the eighth. So digging in now for San Diego, Hassan Kim. Here comes a pitch. That's down and in. Go in. Come on, Oakland. Next one misses. And that's ball two. Two ball, no strike. And he takes a strike. Next pitch is outside. At the belt and fires. Fouls one away and now three and two. The pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. He wanted that fastball high and tight looking for a strikeout just didn't locate it very well. 
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. On to pitch now for Oakland, Domingo Acevedo. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Runner on the go. Back to the mound. Tosses the first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Bogarts in the box now. Take strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. In the air out to center. Ruiz puts it away. Grounder tags it second. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. Here's Juan Soto. He's already homered here in this one. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. There's a strike. Kim on third with two out. The 0-1 is outside and it's a ball and a strike. Tying run at the plate. Fly ball down the line. Rooker on his way over. Grabs it on the run. And that's the third out. Back here. Here at the ballpark. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And here is Shea Langoliers. Pitching change here. Nabil Prismat. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Swings and misses. That is strike two. On the ground. Kim with the throw to first. One up, one down. That led Miss Diaz now. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next offering is no in for a strike. That to right. Tatis drifts towards it. Two away. Now batting the second, the second baseman, baseman. Tony. Tony. Next up yeah, for the yeah. A's, Tony Kemp. And that one just yeah. misses. A ball and no strikes. Yeah. That clips the corner. Next offering is fouled back. Kemp checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And he held up. The pitch. And that one a little bit high. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Drew Steckenrider. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down the win. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. In the air, left field. Rooker under this one. Makes the grab one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. They had a foul ball. 
Stecken Ryder in his sixth season, 32 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2012. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Next for the Padres, Matt Carpenter. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Oh, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. Y'all, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Up the middle. Throw to first and ball game. And the A's take the series opener here at home. He closes out his 50th career save, so that one has a little extra meaning to it. You don't collect this many saves by accident. Another job well done. And your final 4-2. Oakland hangs on to win it for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.